Hello my crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts. Today we're playing with chalks. Um, the soft pastel assortment is in the new 2021 to 2022 Stampin' Up! catalog. And there are so many lovely colors in here, I can't wait to show you. So the other day I was playing and I wanted to know as are most of the adventures in my craft room, what would happen if I did this? So what I did was I stamped on Versamark or with this Versamark, um, and then I rubbed the chalks over top to create sort of a rainbow variegated look. Um, and then I just finished it off with the birthday from the Biggest Wish stamp set. So today we're gonna play and I'm gonna show you how to do the Versamark. Um, I'm also going to show you how to stamp on black and get a vivid pop of color. So, um, I'm using the other side because cardstock has two sides and why waste it? Um, so this is basic black four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I might trim it down when I'm finished. I haven't quite decided. Um, I have a piece of basic white, same dimensions, four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, I've already got my Stamparatus set up for my birthday greeting that we're going to stamp on black. But first, we are going to play with um, one of my favorite stamp sets, actually. I love big stamp sets. You get huge pop for really minimal effort. Um, and I use these sentiments a whole lot. So we're gonna get started. I've already got the large floral image on my block. I've got my Versamark at the ready. Um, and we're also going to be using the Take Your Pick tool for this one. So all we're gonna do is ink up. I know the stamp set doesn't look spectacular um, or stamp pad, I should say. Um, it doesn't matter. It's still going to work well and the color isn't going to transfer. All right, so make sure that it's really good and inked up because you want to make sure that you have maximum coverage when you go to put your chalk on just to make sure that it's going to stick. All right, now you might also want to have um, which way am I going to do this? I think I'll do it this way. Um, you might want to have a damp cloth at the ready just because your fingers are going to get chalky. It does blush off really easily. Okay, and you're not going to be able to see the Versamark. Um, because it's a watercolor ink, but I'm going to do this guy with the yellow. And now take your pick. You're just going to scrape off some of the chalk. Now I can just see a bit of the shine from the Versamark. So now as you take your finger and gently rub, the chalks are going to hit where the ink is. And then if you notice that some areas aren't quite as vivid as you'd like them to be, you can just, oops, ooh, nails on a chalkboard. You can just go ahead and add a little bit more ink. And just keep rubbing until you're content with the way that it looks. Now what you can do when you're finished um, is tap off the excess onto another sheet of paper and use it to create another background. Now, there is a bit of a halo, which I kind of like, but if you want to get rid of it a little bit, just go over it lightly with a sponge and that'll help take off some of the excess. All right, now I'm just gonna grab my ink pad. Um, I've got crushed curry here, which is a deeper yellow. So I'm gonna grab that grab the center of my flower and stick it onto one of my smaller stamp blocks. 
honestly, in my craft room, this one, which is the B block, and this one, which is E block, are the two that I go to the absolute most, um, as well as my largest block. Um, but since I've gotten my Stamparatus, I tend to use that more than I use the large block. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my crushed curry ink. Actually, I kind of like the way that it looks like when it's stamped off a bit. So there's our crushed curry. And then I think I'm going to bring in one of the leaves. And actually, I stick that with that. Um, totally was not planning to use a leaf, but I am. Changed my mind. And then I'm going to ink up and stick a leaf kind of randomly there. I'm going to do one there and maybe there. Okay, then what I'm going to do is grab the Mossy Meadow. Sorry, if you see a tail, Bailey just decided she was going to join me in my craft room today. Okay, I'm going to do it there. There's the other leaf. And, oh no, where did, oh, there it is. All right, and then I'm just going to rub the green where I put the leaves. So this isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination um and I don't really think it's meant to be it's kind of watercolor but better um because it's something fun to play with and you get to get your hands chalky and it's easy to clean up um one of my craft room rules is it's okay to get messy as long as it's kind of easy to clean it up all right so we've got that done Bailey you can jump off of my desk now thank you um, and then I'm going to bring, what am I going to do for the sentiment for this one? Actually, you know what? My mom's birthday is coming up and she absolutely loves yellow. And for her Mother's Day card, I actually used the dies that went or that go with the stamp set. Um, so I'm going to use happy birthday with this one so she can actually have matching cards. And... While I'm putting this on the block, did you know that when you have the clear stamps, you can actually manipulate it into a shape? Um, you can have it curved so that it's a little bit visually different than just a straight across sentiment, which I think I'm going to do for this one because it'll fit right there. All right. To our happy birthday right kind of corner ish oh i like the way that looks all right put this guy off to the side so i can wash it when i'm done and hmm, i think i'm gonna add some gems which gems am i gonna add today I think I'm going to do the bigger gems. Oops. Put my chalks back. I'm going to do the bigger gems just down here. Whoops. On the corner. Do one, two, and three. All right, so we have our flowers and our leaves and our happy birthday sentiment done. Um, if I was going to just apply the chalks without having rubbed them in really well first, you would need to seal it, but these are fairly well, the chalk isn't going to go anywhere. But to seal it, all you would need to do is give it a hit of just plain old regular hairspray and let it dry before you did anything with it. So this card is done. I'm going to put it off to the side. Now we're going to have some fun with the basic black. Now I did try this technique with just the Versamark and it looks okay. Um, 
but it wasn't vivid enough for me. I really wanted a big pop of color. So what I did was I used the white, the Whisper White ink. Okay, so I'm just going to get this in. Now, normally I have um, my grid paper, but I couldn't find it this morning because that's just kind of how today was going. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Now I've already lined up my sentiment on the grid lines that are on the Stamparatus. So they are lined up. I just need to get the paper kind of roughly where I want it to be. I think that'll be good. Now, when I'm doing stamping with my Stamparatus, I actually like to have a stamp set or something underneath um, just to keep it straight and make sure that my sentiment is going to be inked over so you guys can actually see it. Um, make sure that the sentiment is actually going to be inked completely. But with the Stamparatus, it doesn't really matter because it keeps it exactly where it needs to be, which is another reason that I absolutely love it. Because if you're doing a super intricate set and you don't get it right the first time, you can totally go over it and do it again. Okay, so now... One of the features I absolutely love about the Stamparatus is that it has these steps. So you can keep your paper and your stamp exactly where it was and just move it down and it will be perfectly spaced every single time. And to be perfectly honest, <clears throat> I was a little intimidated by my Stamparatus. It was in the box for oh, I would say months before I got it. I have no idea why. It's only a stamping tool. It's nothing to be afraid of. Um, but another demonstrator came to my one of my classes and happened to notice that I had it sitting on my shelf and said, why aren't you using this? So I had to tell him I was a little afraid of it. And he said, no, nope, get it out, bring it here. We're going to use it. Oops, I forgot to move it down. And from that day forward, 100% sold on the Stamparatus and absolutely love it. All right, so we are finished with this guy. I'm going to put it back in the original position. And move it off to the side. And then we're going to do... Actually, I should close my ink pad as well before something unfortunate happens. All right, so then again, we're going to grab our take your pick, and I'm going to start with Granny Apple Green at the top. Then we're going to do Bermuda Bay. Um, Knight of Navy. And then we're going to do the gorgeous grape. Now the grape probably won't show up as well. So I'm going to finish it up with, I believe this is Poppy Parade. All right. So you can see there's not really much care or precision with the way that I've done this. So I'm just going to go side to side for each of them. And then I'm going to go and whoops, bring the color down a bit. So that it's got sort of that um, ombre-ish look. All right. See, nice and chalky, but that'll get cleaned up in no time. I also love the chalkboard technique which is using um, your watercolor pencils on black. This just makes it that much easier. Okay. Just cleaning it up a bit. Now, if you don't love something, or if you think that there's a little bit too much of a chalky outline, you can add just a tiny bit of water and it'll clear up some of that chalk. I'm 
just going to clean up just a little bit. All right. You don't want to get too close to the letters, though, um, because it'll completely wipe the chalk off. Now, one thing um, that you kind of want to be a little bit mindful of as well um, is not, after you've done this, if you're going to clean up your letters, um, not to use too much water because, A, like I said, it'll disperse some of the chalk, but it can also waffle your paper a little bit. So I actually like the way that that looks. Now I'm going to bring in some of the gems. Now the gems that I'm going to be using are, I'm just going to show you the set. Um, there. Um, it's the silver and epoxy right here. So there's diamond shaped circle and sort of like a dewdrop rainbow raindrop sheet. And they are well, where did they go? Sorry. Bailey was just visiting. She sent some stuff flying a little bit. All right. So we've got, I think for this one, I'm actually going to use the clear. And I'm going to use the diamond shape because they're kind of cool. And I'm going to dot the eyes with the clear diamond. It's not terribly visible on the card, but it will be when the light hits it. And the last one. Oops. All right, so you can kind of see a little bit of the shine and shimmer from the epoxy diamond. Now, if I wanted to, um, you could trim the card a little bit and have it on a different background, but I really love how the black looks. So I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. I hope that you enjoyed the video and will now maybe want to give the chalks a try. They're so much fun. And really, for the value that you get, um, it's t they're twelve something, twelve dollars, twelve twenty five, um, in the catalog, and you get the eight colors. But honestly, a little bit goes an incredibly long way, and they are so much fun to play with. I'm really glad that I gave in to my impulse. Um, yeah, they're twelve twenty five on page one twenty six of the annual catalog. I'm really glad that I gave into my impulse and decided to give them a shot because seriously, so much fun and they are going to last for a very long time. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have any questions, you can drop me an email at prairieskypapercrafts at gmail.com um, and pop over to my Facebook page too. I've always got tons of inspiration and ideas and a lot of fun over there as well. So thank you for so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous crafty day.